Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very important point and that's all about what are the five mistakes most of the fresh engineers make. If you're one of them who is trying to learn PLC and you're at the earliest stages, don't skip a second of the video because that would be make or break for you. If you avoid these mistakes, you can be easily good PLC engineer. Are you new to the PLC programming? Have you ever spent hours debugging only to find a tiny mistakes? Or maybe your program doesn't do what you expect and you feel stuck. If yes, this video is for you. Today I will share the most common mistakes beginner make in PLC programming and simple tips you can use to avoid them. These tips will save your time, reduce frustration and help you to become confident PLC programmer faster. Before we start this video, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing this YouTube channel, turn your notification on so that you don't miss our future content. Let's get back to the video. Let's start with number one. Most of our students, when they start learning coding, when they get a program without a proper map, without making a plan of execution, they start writing a code directly. What I advise is if you are starting your project, start with a flowchart. Map it out in a flowchart and then try to open up the software. Don't jump into the software right away. First, try to create a map, a plan that is needed and that would be very helpful if you try it. Another mistake most of the people make is they just learn the instructions and learning instruction is not enough. Utilizing the instruction like for instance timer, counter and different other instructions which are available on PLC, utilizing these instructions to, small, to solve small problems, to create some logic which can be used in a process industry, that's very important. Learning just the instruction is nothing. When I read most of the fresher programs, I see one of the common mistake. They don't comment the program. They make it just for themselves. But it's very, very important and very good practice to have a comments in your program. There's another mistake most of the people make that is using improper tag names. You can have a proper tag names like start, motor, something, stop motor, reset motor and reset and all that's very very important if you name tags properly and you name your inputs give them a proper tags and symbols that really helps another problem which i have seen most of the beginner make is not testing the program and they just right away try to download you have to simulate the program effectively and see each and every aspect as per the initial requirement if it is working fine then go ahead and download it into the real PLC. I have seen another common mistake is ignoring error logs. Error logs are very important that if you know how to use error logs to fix and troubleshoot PLC programs, knowing that art of using error logs to detect the problems is very important. It's very important not to ignore error logs. Another problem which I have seen most of the fresh engineer make is forgetting to backup. Backup of a PLC program is very, very important. Without having a backup, if you wanted to do, if you wanted to restore the program later stages, if you don't have a backup of your program, that can be very painful. So it's very, very wise to have a proper backup when you do any changes. Another problem with trying to fix the problem alone. You have to use different platforms, different forums that are available different AI tools and then you have to ask for a help from your seniors instead of you trying to do it alone because if somebody have done and if somebody had similar problems and he have shared the experience on different forums then tracing out the problem would be very easy for you. That's all for today. I hope you like this quick easy to understand video which can definitely help you to become a good automation engineer and you can avoid these mistakes if you want to grow as a PLC engineer. That's all for today. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.